the perfect. When I was in my 20s, the gin martini I liked to drink was basically a whole lot of gin stirred on ice and poured into a glass. Vermouth was some kind of toxic waste that should only be used in the tiniest quantities if at all. As I got older and a little more sophisticated in the ways of booze, I came to realize that that was actually a pretty harsh and nasty drink. There's not just one best way to make a martini, there are many ways to make a martini. And the one that works for me perfectly is the Fitty Fitty here at the Pegu Club. It's 50% vermouth and 50% gin. The idea behind it is really to reintroduce today's cocktail culture to the benefits and merits of vermouth. So we figured fitty fitty, you know, with all the bling that's out there. So we start with a nice cold mixing glass. Ice is really one of the key components. We shatter it because when you shatter, you're creating many sides which cold is emitting from. Because Tangeray is so nice and bold, it can withstand the dilution of vermouth. And then we take our orange bitters and we just give it two little dashes and we stir. When you shake, you have a lot of unwanted dilution, but if you're using really good ice and you stir properly, then you're going to get the dilution that you need and the chill as well. Here you have the Fitty Fitty. I had really avoided this version because I had such strong conditioning that you do not make a martini that wet. Until one day I broke down and tried it, and I had one of those, oh, moments where I was like, oh, I've really been an idiot.